just want to start off by saying these are some really great card back expressions. They're ridiculous. They're hilarious. They're over the top. I think this may win the award for the best cars package. I'm kidding, of course, but their faces are hilarious. They're priceless. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Mater with no tires and McQueen with no tires. And really, they could have just called these guys Mater without tires, McQueen without tires, but no, it had to be with no tires. I don't know why that's... I don't know, but I feel like without tires would have been a bit of a better option. Shorter name, kind of. It was, of course, part of the 2016 number 95 return series, or just 95 return series. And, of course, in the background, you have the really nice Wheelwell Motel with lights all around these trees and the Cars Daredevil Garage app logo. If you've watched some of my other reviews from around, from cars from around this time, you know how I feel about that. After months of burning rubber on the track, Lightning McQueen can't wait to return to Radiator Springs and hang out with his old friends with a picture of Mayor McQueen doing their handshake. And of course, you also have Galloping Gear Grinder, Otis, Artist Ramon, and Mater with Balloon. I have Otis and Artist Ramon, but I don't have these two. You can now get these two in that Radiator Springs Rescue 3 pack. I don't know what's up with that. Because if it were a Radiator Springs Classic, it would say so. But instead, the package just says Radiator Springs. So I'm not quite sure if it'll be a Toys R Us exclusive. Well, it can't be a Toys R Us exclusive. I honestly don't know what's going on with that. So yeah. Let's get these guys out of the package, and I'll be right back. So, here these two are out of the package, and I actually don't have a Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen. I only have the metallic one from the character encyclopedia. Actually, I'm planning on getting a regular Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen. I'll probably have it by next Friday, so yeah. If I do decide to get it. But we're going to start off by taking a look at Mater. Probably the less exciting one. He looks more excited, of course. He's an extremely happy-looking mater. I really love this expression. Of course, you have his engine, his one headlight, his one roof light. And on the side, you can see, simply, he has no tires. Or, well, he has the wheels, of course, still. And there is some really good detailing on that. You can just see the around there. But here, you can see all the dirt and dust and weathering on that tire. And I think that looks great. Tow meter towing and salvage radiator springs right there. His uh, rusty sides, tow cable, the usual stuff. A113, of course, on the back. I'm pretty sure mine actually is a bit of an error. As you can see, it looks a bit damaged, but that's alright. Also, his tow cable is a really light color compared to the rest of him. I'm not sure if that's necessarily an error, if there is. Or if that's just a fact about Mater that I've never noticed before. And on this blue tire, you could also see the weathering around the edges. Probably better to see from the bottom. You can see all that dirt. And, of course, he has his other usual brown tire. Now, moving on to McQueen. He looks hilarious. He just looks so concerned. I think it looks great. Very nice to have a variant of Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen, of course. So yeah, I believe these. this is the normal eye expression Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen has, just with a different mouth. I'm not quite sure. Rusty is medicated bumper ointment, rear end formula. You've all seen a normal McQueen before. 95 with, well yeah, the 95 on top of the headlight. And I believe, yep, there's a little lightning bolt next to it. This may be one of my favorite versions of McQueen. I really like the outline of the lightning bolt with just the little small one on the inside. Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo there, number 95, with Little Turkey Pistons, Revolting, and Mood Springs being the only three sponsors that bothered to show up today. Lightning McQueen signature up there, another little 95 with the lightning bolt in it. Gas cap, Rusty's, Rusty's back there, and Rusty's medicated bumper ointment, very similar to the back of uh, Cars 3 McQueen. Hold on, is this decal? Guys? That decal slanted, it's, it's Jimmy Cables all over again. Okay, fine, so my error on Jimmy Cables is a whole lot worse, but yeah, I've been getting a lot of error cars lately. Greg Candyman was an error. <clears throat> I forget who it was, but hold on, I'm trying to remember who else I 
reviewed lately. Either Scott Spark or Tolga Trunkov, I forget which one. It was had an error. Nevis McQueen has an error. Whatever. Nothing's perfect. And it's really cool to have an error car. Especially if it's such a minor error as a little back wording being mislabeled. Not mislabeled, put on wrong. And of course you just have the usual other side decals. And there's the base. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. And just in case you're wondering, they do actually roll quite well. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.